and takeaways and any other cool words starting with T so you can advance your business online the kingdom way. Welcome your host, Christopher Harold. Hey, hey, what's going on? What's up? What's happening, everybody? This is Christopher Harold back for another episode of Kingdom Marketing Secrets, the podcast. And man, this is awesome. I've been appreciating the love and feedback you guys have been giving me with this podcast. I definitely appreciate the love. Listen, if you have not had a chance to do so yet, I definitely love the review. So leave me a review on this podcast. You know, uh, I mean, I've been hearing a lot of great testimonials, you know, a lot of breakthroughs been happening for a lot of people. And it makes, makes, makes me feel like, okay, this is awesome. I know that this is what God has called for me to do. And to continue to give you more and more and more great content to help you grow your business but also, more importantly, to help you become the person who God called you to be. So thank you guys for the love you've given Kingdom Marketing Secrets. <laughs> Appreciate that love, guys. Uh, now, also, too, if you're checking this out, I got a free gift for you right now in the show notes. After this episode is done, definitely check it out. It's a free gift that's going to help you grow your business. So definitely check out that link in the show notes. It's going to say free gift right here. Check out that free gift as well, my friend. So I'm really excited to be before you today. Another great episode, another great con uh, topic I want to share with you today. Now, one thing that I've shared before, what makes this podcast a lot different than a traditional that's a marketing show or that's talking about business is that I will share real life, cutting edge marketing techniques because this is what I do full time. You know, this is what I do full time. I help business owners be able to grow their business online. So that's what I do for a time. And I invest a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of energy to get that skill set where I know, you know, I, I can help clients grow their business and show others how to do so as well. But the kingdom aspect comes in is where I want to help your inner man, right? I want to help your inner spirit. And, and that's when we're going to talk about a lot with the kingdom. Because truth be told, a lot of things happen in the kingdom that are total opposite in the world. You know, the world has a, a system. The world has a, an economy. The world has a system in place right now. Uh, and, and, and the world has certain principles that, that, that are followed in order to achieve certain results. A lot of those principles, a lot of those things that you see out there actually contradict what happens in the kingdom. They contradict scripture. They contradict what God has for us. And so we got to be very careful when we are put ourselves in a position where we are allowing more world knowledge, world system, the world gurus to pour into us. And it, it, it conflicts with what God wants. So that's why on my podcast, you notice, I will give you a lot of great cutting edge marketing techniques. We got a lot of great interviews set up with a lot of folks coming on these po this podcast as well. So I will give you the cutting edge marketing techniques and strategies, right? But also, what I give you is the other side, the side that's missing, that you won't get out there from the world system. And that's helping your inner man, your inner spirit. And, 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 and a lot of those things that we learn from the world, I've done it myself. I spent a lot of money on worldly knowledge, worldly, worldly coaching, worldly training, right? I've done that stuff too myself. But it tends to uh, be a to total opposite end of the spectrum of what God wants for a lot in our life, 
in a business. And so today, what I'm going to talk about today is needs and wants in the kingdom versus the world, right? It's, it's going to be a total contrast into how the world operates when it comes to needs and wants. And also, I'm going to dive into something that I think is really going to be groundbreaking. I'm going to share what good actually means in the kingdom and what good means in the world, right? And today, we're going to crack open some scriptures, right? We're going to crack open. See, that's that preacher in me. You know, a lot of you, a lot of you may or may not know, but I am a licensed minister. I got licensed, I think, in 2010. I've been, I was preaching. I started preaching around 2004, 2005. So I am a minister. I'm a teacher. You know, I've taught uh, my church. I, I've taught in previous churches. So I'm a teacher as well. I think that's why I like to coach and consult marketing stuff. But also, I'm a teacher of the word. And here we bring it in the kingdom and the business world together, which makes this awesome. All right. And so, so today, we're going to talk about this. And we're going to crack open the scriptures. And today, I'm going to read a couple of verses from you in Luke chapter 11. So we're going to go to Luke 11. Now, what I want to focus on in Luke 11 here is I want to focus on just a couple passages. Probably, we're going to focus on verses 9 through 13. 9 through 13. So, um, now, one thing about studying scripture, guys, is that you always want to make sure you understand the context of a passage. You don't want to take a scripture, take a passage, and run with it, right? You want to understand the full context. So, the context of chapter 11 Initially, Jesus was teaching about prayer. You know, it, this is where, where you had the Lord's Prayer there. And, uh, and, and then he taught about persistence, which is a, a really good business principle. I mean, literally, verses 5 through 8. See, persistence is a business principle. It's a kingdom success principle. Because verses 5 through 8, he was giving an example of a friend going to a neighbor's house, you know, to try to get some, you know, some bread. And, and, and basically, the person was like, you know, my door is shut. The kids are locked up. Don't, we're not coming downstairs. Stop harassing us. Right? And verse 8 kind of talks about their persistence because the person was persistently knocking. And so it's actually a, a good context we're going to talk about. So let me, so let me, let me read. Let me just read verses 5. All right? I'm sorry, verse 5. Let me get a full context of what I'm going to talk about. Verse 5 says, uh, and he said to them, Jesus said to the disciples, suppose one of you shall have a friend and shall go to him at midnight and say to him, friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine has come to me from a journey. I have nothing to set before him. And from inside, he shall answer and say, do not bother me. The door has already been shut and my children and I are in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. Verses 8, verse 8, I tell you, even though he will not get up and give him anything because he, but because he is his friend, yet because of his persistence, yet because of his shamelessness, that's what this says, guys, his persistence, his shamelessness, he will get up and give him as much as he needs. Now check this out. Verse 9, this is powerful. Check this out. And I say to you, I say to you, ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened. Let me read that again. And, and now in the Greek, this is what this verse is actually saying. In the Greek, this, 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 is, this is called a present participle. It's a continue, ongoing, continuous action. And in the Greek, this actually means, and I say to you, keep asking. Keep seeking. Keep knocking. And it shall be opened unto you. Verse 10. For everyone who, everyone, who, everyone who continually asks, receives. And he who continually seeks, finds. And to him who continually knocks, it shall be opened. 